Are you someone at home looking to create your own golf simulator in your own personal space? Well, if you are, I want to share with you one of my absolute favorite products on the market with the SIG enclosure and the SIG screen. That stands for Shop Indoor Golf Enclosure or Shop Indoor Golf Screen. It's one of my favorite products and one that I use every single day here at a garage golf facility. I'm looking forward to bringing that video to you right now. All right, thanks again for watching and welcome back. Here at Garage Golf, we provide information on golf products, golf equipment, golf technology, golf simulators, and pretty much anything golf related. So if you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe, click that bell notification for more videos so you're alerted of new videos like the one we're coming out with here today, the moment they come out. So we're gonna share with you throughout this video one of my favorite products in the SIG enclosure. And what you see behind me is actually the SIG 10 enclosure, which stands for 10 feet wide, and it's basically eight, 0.4 or eight and a half feet tall. I think it's eight feet, four inches tall. So I'm really looking forward and this is provided by the Indoor Golf Shop. It's one of my favorite products that's out there. So if you're looking at screens from Carl's Place or anywhere else, I definitely recommend you check out this video and I'm looking forward to sharing every detail about this enclosure behind me as well as some of the other products that the Indoor Golf Shop has for you to choose from as well. All right, and as always, if you have any questions on building your own golf simulator home, I want to be your go-to person. My name is Roland here with Garage Golf, and you can reach out to me anytime at Roland at MyGarageGolf.com. What I'm going to do for you now is kind of show you a little bit more of the SIG 10 enclosure behind me. I want to talk to you also a little bit more about some of the features that I really like about this product and how I feel it sets itself apart from some of the competition out there. So join me on this journey. I look forward to sharing that with you. We'll also show you a little bit of gameplay with the actual enclosure as well as well as some other details and products that I also like from the indoor golf shop that we'll be sharing with you today also. Let's show you some footage. All right, so I'm gonna walk you around real quick and just kind of show you some more about the enclosure. And here you see the actual SIG 10 putting flooring. So just so you're aware, you have the option to upgrade the SIG Pro mat, which comes in four by seven or four by 10. And you'll have the option to upgrade to something like this, which is the putting flooring, which includes the putting cups. You see how tall it is on, as far as the actual height, about the same height of the enclosure, or about the same height as the actual hitting insert, which is by far my favorite insert, the SIG Pro softy hitting insert. If you haven't checked out my video on that, make sure you do it. Two and three eighths inches thick, by far the thickest insert I've come across and one of the best I've ever tested. So again, you see the enclosure here. I'm gonna show you from behind as well, a little bit about how far I have it from my back wall, just so you can see. So here's my back wall here, and you see I have that much pretty much on my floor. So right about a foot away from the back wall with the SIG enclosure, that gives you plenty of room to hit a golf shot and not have it hit your wall. So really, again, you can see the quality, really good quality. It's, it has really good stitching, extra stitching there. So you're not gonna have this thing start to come apart on you. It's just made with quality in mind. And one of the things I love about the indoor golf shop is just, even though they had a good product before, they continue to improve. They made this even thicker, better, more sound insulating. And it wasn't anyone complaining about their other product. It's just over time, they like to improve on things that are already fantastic. So that's one of my favorite things with what they do. And again, as you see up here, we have padding to protect here and all the way across the top and all the way across the bottom. So when you hit one of those hosel rocket shots, which I've done, you're still protected in regards to any kind of ricochets or anything going on there as well. All right, so some pretty cool footage of the SIG enclosure. We're gonna again show you some gameplay actually using that enclosure. But I kind of want to share some of the bullet points and some of the features that I really like that you get that all come with the SIG packages. The first thing is you get the SIG or Shop Indoor Golf premium screen. Now, head to head with any other screen out there, I feel the SIG screen will beat any other screen that I've ever tested, including any screen from Parta Pro and Carl's Place. In fact, my Golf Spy did a review head to head Carl's Place versus the Indoor Golf Shop and the Indoor Golf Shop screen won. So in the video description, I will show you, I will actually place that link in there so you can check that out. 
really cool testing on a whole lot of features such as things like how the ball reacts to the screen, how many times you hit shots into it before you notice anything. One thing I can tell you just from using this on a regular basis is you don't get those little pothole uh, divot marks that you get from other screens where you see an actual ball mark in the actual screen itself. This is by far the thickest screen out there that you're going to be able to find. It's an excellent quality screen. It's going to last you a long time. There's ways to obviously preserve the life of the screen, making sure you keep your golf balls clean. Um, super, super high spinning golf balls. You don't want to normally use those on a regular basis. Pro V ones, for example, just because over time all that spin will damage almost any screen. But you can use it on a on a basis where you just want to do some testing. For normal sim play, I recommend mid spin balls or something like a Bridgestone, a Q Star. But overall, this screen really stands up to the test of time. I've been using it for quite a while and been testing it. And overall, you can't find a better screen on the market, in my opinion, than the Indoor Golf Shop screen. So testing this side by side with anybody else that you've looked at out there, I would put this head to head versus anything out there that's on the market today. So the second thing that comes with the SIG enclosure are the push-pull pins and connectors. So it's gonna have one end that's a male end and one end that's a female end, and it's actually gonna snap into each other and the pin will pop out locking it into place. So you can literally put up an enclosure like what you see behind me in a matter of minutes without having to use any tools. You're not having to go to the Home Depot or Lowe's to get your own uh, parts or your own poles, which is really, really nice. And they will ship that as part of everything that comes with the package all in one. So you're not having to go to your actual local home improvement store to get anything that you would need to get on your end of things. So that makes it really, really appealing as well. One other feature about the poles is that they're really lightweight, which is nice. So when they ship them to you, it's pretty easy to put together. But the cool thing is I could actually move this enclosure behind me by myself with one hand. But when you have it in place and you have everything on and you're hitting golf shots into it, it's very, very sturdy. So not only is it sturdy, but it's also light, lightweight, which makes a big difference. All right, so now we've moved you around and I wanted to kind of show you up close a little bit more in regards to one of the other features and that's gonna be the protective padding. So here we have our full enclosure. Obviously it's gonna be like a rectangle all the way around, but every single piece that we're worried about in regards to any sort of ricochet is going to have a very thick padding in it. I've had people in here who have tested shots that have hit the bottom pole, hit these side poles, and while they do bounce still, obviously anytime you're gonna hit a pole, no matter how much padding on there, there's gonna be some bounce. You're not ducking for cover, worried about hitting yourself in the face with a golf ball. So that's really nice. We got padding all across the top. We have padding here in the corners as well. This protects the main pole and what we're looking at all across the top where the poles are with branding from the indoor golf shop. Overall, very, very good material. It has the Velcro lined up all the way here. So you wrap it around the pole, you lock it into place and you're good to go. So this thing's sturdy as we talked about, but also very lightweight. You can move this thing if you need it to with one hand. Really, really cool feature. Another really cool feature is the sound insulating purposes of this. So this material is really thick here that you get all the way around the enclosure. You're getting a nice soundproof material. The screen itself is also a very quiet screen. So when you're hitting golf shots into it, you're not getting a ton of noise from it. You're not getting a lot of bounce back from the screen or anything like that as well. Really, really good features. I've been super happy with everything. And all this comes with the SIG enclosure. This is all part of the process which makes it worth every dollar in my book is in regards to what you're gonna be spending on these enclosures. One other feature that you're gonna get are these six inch ball bungees. You're gonna get a bunch of these. This is gonna be how you're gonna connect the actual enclosure and the screen to your frame. So you're gonna get these, this will come with it. You wrap it around the pole and you basically will lock it into place. So you'll be able to use these to set everything up. Keeps it a nice tight distance as far as what you need without making the screen too tight where it's gonna ricochet and come back at you. So there is some give to the screen. I'll show you that here in just a minute. But overall, it's gonna be nice and tight. It's gonna obviously give you enough to where you can hit a shot without it shooting back at you, which is important. But all these bungees will be how you connect it. And this all comes with part of the package as well. And let me show you from an angle as we talked about as far as the kind of give that we have with the screen. So you do have some give as you see here. It's gonna probably be able to go back about 12 inches or so for the ball flight. But as you see, it's not super tight where it's so stretched out well, you'll start to develop rips or tears in the middle of your screen, which some other enclosures have those problems over time. This is, again, by far one of the thickest screens out there. The quality is phenomenal. You're going to want to have it probably about one foot away from your back wall just to give a little bit of flex. But overall, it, it doesn't flex too much. It's still very sturdy. It does a really good job, and it just holds up really, really well over time. And one last feature that I feel is really, really important that actually comes with this SIG enclosure as part of the package 
is going to be, and I don't have it up here because of my space and what I need it for, but if you need it at home, it's really, really important that you have sidewall protection. So as you see, mine's against the wall on this side, and here's really my only open space, which I don't tend to hit a lot of shots this way for the needs of protection. But what you're gonna get is you're gonna get netting that will actually connect here on both sides, and it comes with the netting that comes all the way out as far as your enclosure, and you're going to basically have that netting run out to about here or so. So it keeps your netting tight, it gives you sidewall protection, so it comes down at like a 90 degree angle basically, or like a 45 degree angle on the sides, and it's gonna protect in case you were to hit an iron shot, and let's say you have a car on this side of your setup here in your garage, it's gonna protect it, it's gonna block that golf ball. So that's a really, really nice feature that comes standard with the SIG enclosures that does not come standard with a place like something like Carl's Place, we gotta add that as an additional $200 cost or so. So keep that in mind. It is something that, again, you're getting really, really good quality with the, with the product that you see behind me. Again, it comes in eight foot, 10 foot, 12 foot widths. And I'm gonna show you a couple other features how you can kind of modify this. But really, the biggest selling point here is the enclosure and the screen. You can have a multitude of different golf mat options, you see the putting flooring, kind of what I have here. That's another upgrade if you do like a full studio package. But the screen and the enclosure, I'll put my name behind that any day of the week. If you're out there and you see this video and you're looking at buying yourself a good quality screen or a good quality enclosure, make sure you check out the indoor golf shop. I feel like that's really important and I don't think you'll regret making that purchase. All right, and lastly, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the price of these SIG enclosures. So again, remember, these come in three different sizes, so it's gonna work for almost anyone's personal needs or space. And remember the features again, because again, some of this is quality. You're gonna, you're gonna pay a little bit more for quality, but again, you're not going to regret what you get, and it's not gonna be something you're gonna to have to be replacing you know, within a year or two years after you use it if you take good care of it. So that's really important. All right, and for the pricing, I wanna go ahead and jump directly onto the Shop Indoor Golf website and give you a little bit of an idea. And this is as of October 5th, 2023 in regards to pricing. So if you're watching this video, this is the pricing as of today's date on October 5th, 2023. So let's look at first the SIG 8 enclosure. So the SIG 8 enclosure is going to be $3,099.99. And let's go ahead and go and take a look next at the SIG 10 enclosure. SIG 10 enclosure is going to run $3,599.99. And then lastly, we'll take a look at the SIG 12 enclosure, which is the largest SIG enclosure that they currently make as of today's date. And we're looking at a total of $39.99.99. And also remember, again, what's included? The premium screen, the push pin poles and connectors, the protective foam padding, premium surround material, six inch ball bungees, and the side barrier netting that we've discussed. Again, a little bit on pricing. So. If um, you want quality, if you want everything sent to you, if you want a little bit of all that convenience, obviously the price is still very, very fair, I feel, for the quality that you're getting. We've helped several clients who have purchased these enclosures, have not had one complaint from them about it, so I'm really a big fan of it. Let's just say, for example, though, that we're more on a budget and you do need something a little bit else, but you still want the quality of, let's say, an enclosure, very similar to the same quality what we've been seeing but mainly the screen, which I feel is really, really important. We do have one other option that I'll share with you briefly, and that's called a DIY enclosure. So with a DIY enclosure, you can pick a multitude of screen sizes. One of the cool things with the DIY enclosures is they do have some that are 16, 9, 16, 10 format, which is something that I felt was really needed by the indoor golf shop as well. So just to kind of give you an idea on the difference, with the DIY enclosure, you do get a basically all the brackets, all the corner pieces that you would need, but you would need to go to like Home Depot or Lowe's to get the poles. By you choosing that option, you do save a significant amount of money. Now the poles aren't the same quality, they don't push pin together. So again, at lightweight, you're gonna have a little bit of a heavier device, a little bit of a heavier setup, but it is gonna save you some costs if we're working with a budget. And the DIY enclosures start as low as $1399.99 and work their way up, but you're probably going to save over $1,000 by not selecting the pole option. So it's just something I wanna share with you, something to keep in mind, and I'll show you a couple of pictures of kind of how that looks, what, what the bracket pieces look like. But overall, again, if you can get yourself a SIG screen, that's really the most important thing. That's a huge part of this process. The SIG screen is an awesome quality, no matter what size you pick, and you can get yourself a premium SIG screen even with a DIY enclosure. Now, if you can afford it and you want quality, the SIG enclosures are top-notch. You will not regret it, I guarantee you. 
and the lightweight portability of it, all the factors that come in, all the padding that's included, pretty much everything that you need, the side uh, extension nets, all that stuff comes with the Sager that doesn't come with the DIY enclosure. So again, you're, all these features that come with it, you're definitely getting your bang for your buck with it. But it's something that I wanna share with you as well because I always have people that have different budgets, different needs, and again, I think you really owe it to yourself to test the SIG screen. That is by far my favorite aspect of this whole setup and it's going to last you and withstand the test of time. And that's the most important part to me. In regards to image, the image is top notch. Let me do something, I'm actually going to, in my facility here I have a bunch of fluorescent lighting. So sometimes the image will get washed out no matter what I can do with the camera. It just doesn't always display well. But let me go ahead and show you what it looks like with the lights off, you're gonna see how beautiful the screen looks with the picture quality, and it really does a really good job of showing the image on the screen. So I'm gonna kick the lights off here for you in just a second. All right, so here we are with the lights on, and check how much quality will show up now when those lights turn off. So really, really great image, looks fantastic overall. Just a really, really good screen quality. Again, it's gonna display the image very well. You're gonna see lots of colors on it and overall you're just gonna be really, really happy with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna hit a couple shots with a driver to show you how it sounds and how it looks. I'm gonna kick on one other light and bring you right back here. All right, I'm gonna be a little bit darker now in the video, but that's okay, I wanna show you the screen. We're gonna hit a driver shot, show you what that looks like. I'm also gonna show you how this would work with say a flop shot as well. And I'm also gonna take you behind the screen once I hit a driver shot to show you what it looks like and how much flexibility we have with that screen once you hit a shot into it. So you know roughly how far away from a wall you'd have to put the actual enclosure. Let's take a driver shot here. Now bear with me on the driver shot. Um, we're not here to watch my horrible swing. We're just here to check out the screen, but let's see how we do. I have GS Pro up behind me on the screen here. Horrible shot, but very quiet in regards to the screen. And overall, not a lot of noise when you're hitting it with the driver. You hear some noise from the driver, but not the screen itself. Let's hit one more. A little better. Not much better, but a little better. Again, not a lot of give um, in regards to it having to flex a ton and not hitting the wall behind me or anything like that. Let me show you a wedge shot. I'm going to take you back. Actually, before I do that, let me show you a driver shot from behind the screen and show you how much give there is. And then I'll hit a wedge shot as well and show you that also. So as you can tell from that last shot, it doesn't really flex a lot with the screen, which is nice. So what I'm gonna try to do now as well, because we gotta go on both ends of the spectrum here, is we're gonna try to hit a flop shot. Let's see how the actual enclosure reacts to a flop shot, and if we get a ton of ricochets of what we're doing here. Let's take a look and see how we do. And that's pretty much all you get in regards to ricochets. So that's also pretty fantastic. And again, you want the ability to be able to hit a driver into that screen at full speed, and as well as hitting the most softest touch flop shot that you can hit into an enclosure. This thing pretty much does everything that you need and more. All right, so that pretty much sums up our testing for today with the Shop Indoor Golf enclosures and the Shop Indoor Golf screen. I'd love to see and hear your feedback at home. So let me know what your thoughts are on the SIG enclosure. Again, right behind me, we have the SIG 10 enclosure, but we also have a SIG 8 and a SIG 12. Would you like to also see a SIG enclosure in a widescreen format? I'm curious to know what your thoughts are on that. Something that would be a little bit wider where we can have a 16-9, 16-10 ratio versus a 4-3. So all, those, all the SIG enclosures are 4-3 ratio. They work fantastic, but I'm curious to know your thoughts at home about having a widescreen SIG enclosure and if that's something that you would be interested in as well. So let me know if you have any questions on this video. I'm gonna put the actual links for each of these products in the video description. So if you're interested in checking it out on the Shop Indoor Golf website, I'll have my links there for it. Um, they are affiliate links that helps us out, of course. And again, we work with several companies. I don't have any ties to push you any one way, any direction or another, other than the fact that I personally have tested these enclosures and I can definitely vouch for the quality. I won't put my name behind something that I've not personally tested or I can vouch for you know, as someone who's used the product before. So that's really important to me. If you have any questions, reach out to me anytime. Roland at mygaragegolf.com. 
Uh, as always, make sure you continue to watch our videos, see the content that comes out. We'll continue to make more content for you on golf launch monitors, simulators, enclosures, any products that we can get our hands on. But if you are interested in building your own, I want to be your go-to person. Make sure you reach out to me first. And you can check out our website at www.mygaragegolf.com. We have a ton of information on there. We're continuing to pack more and more info on our website. So I want you to check that out. As always, until the next time, keep on golfing. We'll see you on the next one. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks again.